Hey Leo, happy Friday. I hope you all are doing amazing. So I decided to pop in with a really quick reading to close the week out. All right, y'all. So interestingly enough, I moved my um my container with my cards in it and there was a random high priestess, a random high priestess um tarot card stuck to my table that I didn't know was there from a deck I haven't used in a while. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna set this to the side. Um and I was like, hmm, I wonder if that's a message for Leo. So the high priestess is a sign to listen to your intuition, that that voice inside, that infinite intelligence, that knowing that you have about something. So if something is nagging at you, spirit is telling you to tune into that because your spirit guides, your higher self, God, the universe, whatever you believe in, is trying to get your attention to clue you into something okay that's interesting because i decided to use my dice today and you pulled the number two and the high priestess is the number two some of you obviously could be born on the second that number could be significant um the high priestess along with the justice card and the judgment card all are the major arcana that rule over the number two well, the number two is all about balance. And then we talk about that the other day. I said, your theme for 2024 is balance. Hmm. So there could be a choice that you have to make and you have to tune into your intuition. All right. So that's just something I want to put to the side. Some of you are also keeping a low profile because the high priestess is kind of secretive. Um, She does not really expose her feelings. It's a very intimate card. It's a spiritual card. It's a card of um imagination. And you have the magician here. So I don't want to jump ahead. But yeah, there's something about you listening to your intuition. You can have Cancer or Pisces in your chart, in particular your moon. Okay. All right. So you have Mercury, Gemini, Virgo. You have the magician, Gemini, Virgo. You're manifesting something. And you have the star. Some of you are manifesting your healing right now. I see a key here. Whenever this key comes out, I think acquisition of goods. Something tangible. Think sticking the key in the door to a new car, a new home, um, a building that you're purchasing, some kind of property, or this could just be a key component is what I always say. Like something is being put in place for you. But I see for some of you, this could actually be a key, maybe to your dream home, car, something like that. You're manifesting something. And I feel like somebody likes you, but I feel like you have them blocked. <laughs> Because I feel like someone wants to communicate with you. And there's his, a hand here. Like, nope. Could be somebody that feels really stupid that you block them. Okay. Let's move on. Let's just get some tarot today. We're just doing tarot. What do you need to know to close this week out? We have the King of Swords. And that could be you. Obviously, you could be connected to an Aquarius person. This is the truth. And we have the page of wands. Somebody wants to talk to you, but I feel like you've turned your back. It feels like someone may want to express something to you, give you an answer about something. For some of you, this could even be some kind of authority figure. Maybe you have a legal situation going on. You can have good news coming in a legal situation, okay? Page of wands is Leo Aries Sagittarius. Your back is turned. This could be someone older than you. Let's see why they want to tell you a truth. We have the ace of wands. And we have the hermit. This is somebody that went ghost on you. And this may be why you blocked them. Could be another fire sign. Could be a Virgo. Could have happened in Virgo season. Interesting. Some of you, this person could have tried to reach out to you just yesterday but couldn't get through. <laughs> yep, three of cups showing up here. Cancer energy. This is somebody trying to extend an olive branch. And then here you show up as the five of wands. Leo energy, which is a conflict. Some of you, this could be a friend. It doesn't have to be a lover. There's somebody here that may want to apologize to you, talk to you. It feels like this person ghosted you, turned their back on you, and now you're doing the same thing, okay? Mm. You're defending yourself. You're protecting yourself. You're asserting yourself. You feel like this person did something to you where you two can no longer be on the same page, okay? Yep, this is somebody trying to jump back into your mix here. And Aquarius is showing up really strong, y'all. And this could be a seven-year relationship. You keep pulling the fool, and the fool is seven years. All right? Also equates to, um, I, I say the new year, because the fool is Aquarius energy. It's Uranus energy. Um, and for any of my readers out there, this is a highly debated card, but the fool card is actually not associated with a um, zodiac sign. It's associated with a planet. There are too many major arcana for each one to have. A zodiac sign there's only 12 zodiac signs and 20 
to majors. So some of these cards are just associated with planets. So Uranus is the energy of the fool, which is Aquarius energy. Um, it does correlate to the spring equinox. So I look at it as any time between January and March, around March 20th, 21st, 2nd, 3rd, somewhere in there. Okay, so yeah, that could be something playing out. I'm also seeing six years here. For some of you, this is someone you work with. Could be a Taurus, could be an Aquarius. For some of you, this is a work situation. Okay, let's move on. Yeah, you have the chariot and you have the two of cups. Some of you are moving right into a divine connection with a cancer, it looks like. And it's coming in quickly, like over the next two months. Yeah, you have the queen of cups and you have the seven of swords chasing behind you. Some of you have a sneaky Aquarius person showing up here. You used to love this person. You used to care about them, even if it's not romantic. Could be someone you were really there for. But some of you, this is your own mother that you don't get along with. Cancer energy. Yeah, the four of pentacles here with the lovers. For some of you, somebody's holding on to your energy. A Gemini, a Capricorn. Could be a four-year relationship. This person is sneaky, though. What's wrong with this person? Page of pentacles and the page of cups. They want to apologize for not being loyal. They're acknowledging you were, you were loyal to them. They were not to you. This person could be very childish. They could be kind of shy, even. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, who's younger than you? Yeah, we have the Eight of Wands and we have the Ten of Cups. For some of you, there is a relationship coming in quickly. I would say definitely by Sagittarius season for a lot of you. It could be a Sagittarius. It could be a Pisces. This could be happening between November 22nd and December the 2nd. Um, for some of you, this person's birthday could be uh, Pisces season, March 11th through the 20th. Or for some, for some of you, that's the date. Remember, I just said March 20th. <laughs> yeah. So th this is like a happy ending to a situation. And I feel like finally, I just feel like a deep sigh of relief coming in for you. What else? You have the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you could be on the Leo Virgo cusp because this is right as we turn from Leo season to Virgo season, August 23rd. And then we have the Queen of Wands. We have the Five of Swords, Aquarius energy, and the star. You have a strong Aquarius person showing up here. Some of you are working on your business, working on your body, your health, um, just bettering yourself, really focused on money, your career, your business, whatever it is that you do to make money. I definitely see somebody here. And it could just be an Aquarius season. If it's not an Aquarius, somebody wants to reconnect with you something awful. They feel stupid. They feel like they cut off their nose despite their face. Yeah, Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck with the Strength card. But you are, and then the King of Wands, two Leo cards to close out this portion of the reading. So this is you, very confident. Wow, confirmation. Very confident, Leo. The Strength card in King of Wands is you. So this is you maybe getting some unexpected money. Some of you may have to just be a little bit slow to spend some of your money, though. You do have the Four of Pentacles on the table, the Strength card, and the King of Wands. So I would say if you come into some unexpected money, and it looks like it comes in quickly, maybe Sagittarius season, November 22nd through December 2nd in particular, um, first eight days possibly of... um. Aquarius, I mean, not Aquarius, of Sagittarius season, there's something coming in quickly. You have the fastest cards in the deck, the Eight of Wands, the Chariot. Mm -hmm. You have the King and Queen of Wands here, but I'm noticing you're not facing one another. So this is definitely someone you're not attracted to anymore that could be reaching out. Others of you, this is something coming in quickly. And finally, I just hear finally, Four of Swords, October 13th through the 22nd, which is where we are right now. What's today's date, y'all? The 18th. So, yeah, something. some of you are just getting a lot of rest this weekend. Remember, we talked about that last week. Some of y'all could be on vacation. Somebody could be in counseling. Or maybe that's a good idea for someone. King of Pentacles. Heavily focused on your money. Split the deck on the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles. You're coming into union with someone. This is a power couple dynamic that you always pull. This is somebody very generous who wants to cater, you, cater to you. Take care of you. This is someone wanting to invest in you, whether professionally or personally. Hmm. Taurus, Libra, Capricorn energy showing up here. It says this is playing out over the next seven months. Some of you could be pregnant. You could be like two months pregnant. Having a baby in seven months. You have the Wheel of Fortune here. Yeah, luck is on your side. It's just a matter of time. You have a date with destiny here. This is a faded connection coming in, y'all. This is beautiful. You you pull abundance and security. So if you're worried about your money, stop worrying about it because it's going to work out for you. The universe is supporting you. Things are turning in your favor. This is a positive turning point. It's good luck. It's good fortune. But you do have past person energy as usual still showing up here. 
someone, I understand, like I said, it doesn't have to be romantic, but somebody does want to apologize to you. It's up to you to trust your spirit of discernment, though, okay? Well, listen to that voice inside because you know in your heart of hearts whether you should invest in someone or not. Okay, y'all, that is it for the day. Like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you all the next time. Peace.